Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create and use material libraries. At some point, you'll be interested in developing and using your own custom materials. It's a good idea to create your own library for organizing your materials. And that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this tutorial. Let's begin by opening the Material Browser. From this gear drop-down menu at the bottom of the browser, we can open existing libraries. I haven't created any custom libraries, so I don't see anything in this folder. Let me just close this folder and cancel out. We can also create a new library, and let's do that. Let's call it ML for Materials Library, and click Save. Next, let's create a category. Right-click and select Create Category. Let's give it a name. We'll call it Category 01. And let's create a second category. We'll call it Category 02. You're not able to create subcategories, but you can create as many categories as you'd like to. Now let's talk about how to populate your library with materials. You can just grab and drag them right into your category. You can select them from existing libraries, such as the Inventor Materials Library. And let's just drag and drop ABS Plastic right into Category 1. Another way to add materials is to right-click on the material, select Add To, and then select your library, in this case ML. And then I select the category. And here is the new material. OK, let's close the Material Browser and close my open document as well. Let's click on Projects. The project marked with a check mark is my active project, in this case Inventor Studio. In case you're rusty, let me just refresh you about creating projects. Click New. Here I'm going to use a new single user project and click Next. Specify the name of the project. And then browse for a location. And Next. Now select a library if needed, and click Finish. I'll just cancel out though. To make your new project active, you just double click on it. Now let's expand the Material Libraries branch. Let's right click on Materials Library, select Add Library. And here's the library we just created. Let's click Open. To make it the default library, you can right-click on it and select Active Library. And now it's in bold, and that shows us that it's the Active Library. To remove it, right-click, Remove Library. Let's click Done. And let's save the changes to the project. Now let's open a new Inventor document, a part document, in millimeters. Let's expand the Materials drop-down menu. You see that My New Library is currently selected as the Active Library. Here are the materials that we placed inside it a few moments ago. Let's launch the Material Browser and expand my library. You may remember that I had created two categories, but only Category 1 remains, and the reason for that is I'd only populated Category 1 with materials. It got deleted because it was empty. And this concludes our tutorial about creating a materials library.